Dr. Paul Mason, high protein diet is essential to reverse osteoporosis. Protein is good for the bones. How did this myth arise that protein is bad for the bones? Well, it, it came over 100 years ago when we actually discovered that when people had high protein diets, there was higher levels of calcium in the urine. And people assumed that that calcium must have been leached from the bones. In actual fact, that is not true because when you have a higher protein diet, you absorb more calcium from the diet. So, and if you absorb more calcium, then that means there's potential for more to then leave the body in urine, but it's not being lost from your bones. It's just being lost because you've just absorbed more. In actual fact, we have randomized control trial level of evidence that a high protein diet can assist in reversing osteoporosis. So there was a study done back in 2002, and they looked at supplementing with calcium and vitamin D. And they looked to see whether or not they could actually reverse osteoporosis. They followed people over three years and they did a bone density, a DEXA scan, dual energy x-ray, every six months over that three years. And this was menopausal females and males over the age of 65, I think it was. And what they found that on average, they could slow bone the bone degrading by giving vitamin D and calcium, but they couldn't restore it. And then they did something smart. They said, what happens if we stratify the results based on how much protein people are consuming? And they found that the group that was consuming the most protein actually reversed osteoporosis in their hip bones, reversed osteoporosis. And this is really logical because bone is mineralized protein. It's protein strands that's got minerals embedded within it. So if you're trying to build more bone, you can't just give calcium because that's not the complete ingredients. You need all the ingredients. Bone has protein in it. 40% of the dry weight of bone is protein. So a high protein diet has been shown to be conditionally essential to actually reverse osteoporosis. Protein is good for the bone, full stop. Dr. Mason says, it's a myth that protein is bad for bones. Over a hundred years ago, it was discovered that people on high protein diets had higher levels of calcium in their urine. It was assumed that this calcium was leached from bones, but it's simply excess calcium due to its absorption. Then it leaves the body through the urine. Dr. Mason says there is randomized control group evidence that a high protein diet can assist in reversing osteoporosis. In a 2002 study of supplementing with calcium and vitamin D, they followed participants for three years doing a DEXA scan every six months. The groups included menopausal women and men over 65. The results, they found that supplementing with calcium and vitamin E could slow bone degradation, but not restore it. Then those who were running the study did additional research. They stratified the results based on the amount of protein that was consumed. The group that consumed the most protein had actually reversed their osteoporosis in their hip bones. The results are logical. Bone is mineralized protein. It's protein strands with minerals embedded within. Trying to build bone? You can't just use calcium. It is not complete. You need all of the ingredients. Bone has protein in it. 40% of the dry weight of a bone is protein. A high protein diet has been shown to be conditionally essential to reverse osteoporosis. Protein is good for the bone.